have got less than one month to get these two gals ready for preschool. And as next year they will move into reception at the young age of four as their July girls, I would like to make the most of this year at preschool to get them absolutely used to, to going away from me and staying away from me for a few hours, which in the three years of their lives they have hardly ever done. And if they haven't been with me, they've been with their father. Uh, we don't have babysitters and so I, I have been the sole child carer uh, for them till now. Uh, they will be doing five mornings a week from 9 till 12 and I would like them to get quickly used to that um, as, as quickly as possible. I think they're ready for it. I think uh, once they get started they're going to be fine but I do worry about the initial break from me. What are we going to do about preschool? Do you want to go to preschool? The worst thing when children start school and they're crying and they don't want to be there and the mum stays to so try and calm them down and settle them down and they carry on crying and the mum still stays and she won't go away because she doesn't want her child to carry on crying. That is actually prolonging the crying. Nine times out of ten, as soon as the mum, if the mum just says, bye bye, see you later, I'll be back at such and such a time, I'm going shopping, and they go away, then the mum is gone and uh, the child will usually within a minute be distracted and happily go off playing or have a story read to them or something like that. Because that's what we hear very often, you mm. know, the, the nursery school teacher will turn around and say, oh, don't worry, two minutes after you've gone, yeah. the child's fine. Yeah. But can we actually believe that? Well, I've been on both ends of it. I'm with my eldest daughter. She cried every day for a month when she started nursery, every day <laughs> for at least a month when she started reception. And the teacher always said to me, no, don't worry. Honestly, as soon as you go, she'll be fine within a minute. And you never really know. But now, four years ago, I started working at a nursery and I've seen it from the other side. And the child is always fine. There's very few cases where the child would just carry on being upset for more than a minute or two minutes. And I found that usually the best thing is to distract them with a toy, an interesting toy, or if they're quite sad, then just sit them on your lap and choose a book to read. And then they very quickly, they very quickly stop crying and they're fine. So what sort of uh, situations would you actually call the mother up? Oh, uh, I don't think we've ever had to call a mother up. Oh, right, okay, that's never. Sometimes a mum will stay just outside the nursery and then peer through the door to, for their own kind of self, um, self-satisfaction, or uh, sometimes we send the mum to the office at the front and then the office will ring through a bit later, five minutes later, and then we can say, yeah, you can tell the mum that her little boy is fine. But um, we, no, I don't think we've ever had to call the mum up because the child has been that distraught. And what sort of tips can you give me over the next month? Yes, darling, yes. Uh, about how to get them ready, really. Mm. Well, I think you know the, the kind of books you've got about starting school. Um, they visited the nursery, haven't they? Sorry? They visited the nursery. They visited the nursery and they burst into tears. Well, <laughs> that doesn't mean they're going to burst into tears on their first day. I hope not. I know, what can you do? It's, it's one of those things that's got to be done. If you don't send your child to nursery, I think for social reasons, whatever they might learn, they're not really there to learn, kind of, you know, starting to read or write or anything like that. It's more about socialising, I think, and being in a big group with other children. Because